Wars, Star Wars goes rogue again. Is it not surprised at all? Because Star Wars, ever since the sequel trilogy came out, Star Wars was seen as this great rogue franchise that nobody wants Star Wars to turn into. Again, this won't really matter in terms of, you know, online play because no one's really going to care about this if they play it for online. Because I believe that they have their online in this game. But Star Wars Squadron Wars based the original review of the game's character Kiyo uses they them pronouns. They are told to, to, to reveal this very unnecessary information because it really is because no one's going to care. When the PSA about people start talking about characters, Kiyo's pronouns in Star Wars are they them. Thank you. Yes, of course. As detailed by StarWars.com, Kiyu Van Z is a new Republic fighter for the Vanguard Squadron. And yet, people are saying, yeah, we all we all knew that movies, they were going to start, they were going woke with all these garbage characters like that, all these garbage feminists and woke movies that no one wanted to see. Now we're seeing this happen, same thing happened with video games with Star Wars Squadrons and The Last of Us Part 2. And again, I don't really think this is going to affect sales because... Twitter is just a, you know, piece of garbage site anyways. You know, only the five people. And I bet the five people on Twitter are celebrating. Because they, they just do this stuff for them. No one else. Only the five people on Twitter. It's a, it's a sad idea that those people have so much power over, you know, on the site. They have so much power over all of these companies. It's just sad, sickening to see this. Basically, Twitter continue to have the wins here. But yet, how StarWars.com described the character, a young power was born, and mirror but 12 children throughout around this galaxy, found fame and fortune in the galaxy as in circuits. Or in San Francisco, Sosi is one of the five criminal syndicates who control races in the outer rim. The hero is saved by a young stranger who opened Kiyo's eyes to, you know, between New Republic and Galactic Empire, blah, blah, blah. And the announcement that they use pronouns is high power, high Republic. Uh, the, the Star Wars will have more, you know, non-binary and woke characters in the future. And of course, all the five people on Twitter are happy. And this is because of Catherine Kennedy. We all know Catherine Kennedy is behind this in some form. We all know Catherine Kennedy is behind this in some form. She has been wanting to force woke this in Star Wars for a while now. And yeah, and yeah. Star Wars is a dying franchise, and this is just more proof of it. They're making more and more, more garbage characters that no one's going to care about just for Twitter. And there we go, Star Wars Squad is able to pre as a PS4, Xbox One, and PC. And there we go. This is gonna be this game's going to be a massive flop. It's going to be a massive failure as well. You know, the fact that they're always still trying to force wokeness down people's throats, even in the games where you don't need wokeness, they can just make normal characters. It's just absolutely dumb. The Twitter, you ruined Star Wars Squadrons for everybody. That's basically it. Goodbye.